afternoon, Oliver here from Mount Smetagger, here today to show you a really lovely two bedroom home. A um, bit unusual this one, because it was actually part of what is a former cow shed, which you can see behind me. Um, but they were all converted into four homes in approximately 2008. So a bit of an unusual one, but really interested to show you this one today. So let's go and have a look around. So just give you an idea of where we are before we go inside. So as I mentioned, uh, former cow shed. Uh, converted in 2008 so a bit of an unusual looking building but um, they do really work inside in terms of the space and uh, natural light through these lovely big windows and things so just at the end of this road is the main road main Loxwood road um, post office and shop within just a couple of minutes walk so you can just see other residents other residential properties uh, in the nearby location Got a nice pond there is actually a lovely little place just to sit out and enjoy the sun. There's a couple of small commercial businesses in the location, little independent shops. So you've actually got a vet's here, uh, a Apple specialist, fix your Apple phone and bits and bobs. This car park that we come on to is um, for the use of the commercial businesses. Um, the bit building you're looking at is a high-end furniture shop. And as I pan round, the other black building you can see, it's all refurbished residential properties, much like the one we're showing you. And, uh, further residential properties over here so two spaces one behind the other the green car is allocated or the space to the far right is allocated uh, to the property that we're showing you so comfortably fit two cars there and just to the end of this lane just leads into essentially equestrian fields and Paddocks, but there are lots of public bridleways, footpaths, which take in all manner of directions. If you head just up there, uh, if you head up there, turn left, you can actually be um, at Marks and Spencer's. Uh, there's a Marks and Spencer's shop as part of the Allfold petrol station, which is, I'm told, within a sort of 10 to 15 minute walk all off road. Um, so that's very accessible. You can also walk within a couple of minutes to the local shop and post office. Um, but there's lots of, you know, country walks, bridleways for miles and miles. You can access the Roger Titchbourne pub in Allfold bars um, and even onto Loxwood and Rudrick as well. So for those looking for quick access to some green space this is a fantastic location okay so here we are outside this is number two black barn so got this lovely pedestrian gate into this really nice pretty front garden just through this little archway as you can see i think when the vendors bought this there really wasn't much to the front garden i think there was a bit of artificial grass down the thing so they spent a lot of time and money out here to bring it up to a good standard it's a really interesting property so let me take you inside so it opens straight out into the main reception room so you've got this lovely engineered wood floor that's down on the floor it's a really light inviting space Space there for coats, shoes. And you've got a recess under the stairs, which is a perfect place for TV, bookshelf, things like that. So really, really well presented throughout. Now, there is an alarm. So you've got downstairs loo just in this door here. I'll just pan round just to give you an idea of this room. So really light and bright very welcoming as you come in and then we've got an archway here into kitchen diner across the back of the house again nice fitted kitchen plenty of space for a good sized dining room table 
We've actually got two doors to the rear. Now in the kitchen, you've got a tall fridge freezer, integrated oven and electric hob. There is a full size dishwasher and space for the washing machine. Take you out into the rear garden in a moment. Let me just take you upstairs first. So the main bedroom's located at the front of the house. It's a really, really lovely bedroom, this. So you've got that full size window at the front, which lets in loads of natural light. Really nice bedroom. Again, just pan around here. So you've got plenty of space there for full-size wardrobe, chest of drawers. Into the bathroom, which is known as a Jack and Jill bathroom because it can be accessed via this bedroom and you see the door the other side. That takes you straight into the second bedroom. But obviously you can lock one door if preferable. But good size, right in the middle of the house. We'll just point out, got a shower screen, Shower over the bath, good sized bathroom. Just give you an idea of the landing here. It's also nice and bright. And then into the second bedroom, located at the back of the house, which has a bunk bed in it at the moment, but rest assured, this is a good double, this. So comfortably fit a double bed in here, but obviously children's room at the moment. Got fitted cupboard. Uh, one of which will house a water tank, etc. And uh, just behind that curtain is quite a large recess for additional storage. And just to show you the other end to that door leading into that Jack and Jill bathroom. So out to the rear garden we go. So small but perfectly formed rear garden. So it's nice decked area straight off the back door. Storage shed. Now we're on an air source heat pump here. There's no natural gas and no oil, but very energy efficient air source heat pump. That's just hidden away behind that trellis. Gravel area to the back. It's nice. Nice spot to sit out. Now, I do just want to show you something. So, just over the fence at the back, you can just see the mound of earth. Now. The landowner of the site behind has currently got a planning application pending to build a couple of bungalows, perhaps two or three bungalows on that site, not yet been approved. However, if it were to be approved, there could be a significant benefit to this properties uh, or all of the properties on Black Barn because the proposal is to gift each property an additional section of land which would essentially take you to the post and rail fence that you can see. So um, obviously it's not, not been agreed yet, so can't, can't be conclusive on it, um, but the proposal at the moment is for the landowner to potentially gift each property um, quite a significant section of additional space to the rear, which would make the gardens a really, really generous size and obviously allow for you know, um, you know, a little bit more space outside. Um, hazard in a guess, I'd probably say you're looking at an additional, you know, 35 foot there from the rear fence to the post and rail. So hopefully that just gives you some idea. Um, and rear elevation, there you are. So that is number two Black Barn, really interesting two bedroom terraced house, certainly on the quirky list, this one, um, but hopefully you like it. But if you have any questions and want to know more, please don't hesitate to give us a call.